My philosophy for patient care is based on multiple principles. I think it's very important that the physicians spend a significant amount of time listening to the patient, not only to determine what's going on, but to really understand how the patient's symptoms are affecting his or her quality of life. I think until there's clear communication between the physician and the patient, really optimal patient care can't even begin. So clear communication is very important. Probably the second most important principle to patient care is that the physician spend an adequate amount of time educating the patient about his or her disease illness or disease state. I think providing the necessary information and the knowledge for patients to make truly informed patient care decisions is absolutely crucial. I think it's also important that the patient really feel engaged in their own health care decisions and that they believe that some sort of a therapeutic partnership has been created between themselves and their physician. Once this relationship exists, then I think the patient really receives the highest quality of care possible to not only improve their quality of life, but to minimize complications from their cardiac illnesses or to uh, really decrease symptoms from their cardiac disease. Well, I was born and raised in Anchorage, Alaska, and I actually left the state to go to the University of Denver, uh, where I received my undergraduate degree in Denver, Colorado. After finishing college, I went back to the state of Alaska, where I did my first year of medical school with a program affiliated with the University of Washington School of Medicine. I then went down to Seattle, Washington to complete my medical school training over three years. Then I went to Houston, Texas, where I did my general cardiology and cardiac electrophysiology fellowships at the Texas Heart Institute, affiliated with the Baylor College of Medicine. After finishing those fellowships, I came to Baptist. Well, I chose to go into cardiac electrophysiology because it's extremely satisfying to take care of patients with abnormal heart rhythms or heart rhythm disorders. Uh, there's been a significant advance in catheter-based technologies over the past five to 10 years in treating patients with abnormal heart rhythms. There's also been significant advances in device-based therapies in treating patients with heart rhythm disorders. For example, patients with congestive heart failure who are on medications but are still having refractory symptoms, electrophysiologists can now put in a biventricular pacemaker to help treat their heart failure. Uh, implantable defibrillators, which can be given to patients at a high risk of dying from sudden cardiac arrest, are also available through cardiac electrophysiologists. So I think all the treatment options that cardiac electrophysiologists can offer really have made the field of cardiac electrophysiology a very exciting field to be in. As for general cardiology, many of the same patients that I see as an electrophysiologist really have cardiovascular disease issues that I also enjoy treating as well. The technological advances that we've had in the last five to 10 years make treating pretty much all heart rhythm disorders, whether they're abnormally slow heart rates or abnormally fast heart rates, very satisfying. For instance, putting in a pacemaker in a patient who has significant symptoms related to a slow heart rate, I actually find that very rewarding. It's also very rewarding to treat patients with atrial fibrillation and offer them a stepwise approach to treatment with a combination of lifestyle changes, medications, and cardiac ablation procedures. Cardiac electrophysiologists now are, are really able to work with a patient's primary care physician as well as their general cardiologists in taking care of patients with congestive heart failure because of our ability to put in biventricular pacemakers. So it's, it's fun and it's rewarding to be part of a team that can really offer comprehensive and collaborative care. So to be quite honest, I'm very passionate about pretty much all the areas of cardiac electrophysiology and it's, it's a lot of fun to work with the patients and I think the patients uh, get a lot of benefit from it as well.